do a lot of tracking. I'm Destiny. I'm Sean. We've been friends for over a decade. And we grew up liking different stuff. And sometimes the same stuff. And now we're watching stuff. Enjoy. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Fan Fiction Reaction Videos. Or thanks for coming back to Fan Fiction Reaction Videos. Always appreciate the uh, consistent returners. And the first timers, we appreciate you too. Always. Anywho, we're yeah. watching Witcher 3. Yeah, the Witcher 3 full movie reaction seems to be uh, really hot. More Witcher stuff. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and react to those. Didn't see. know it was going to be a seven hour long thing. I, I'm. <laughs> we're probably. Gonna we're obviously going to cut it up and break episodes, it into pieces, yes. But holy. Holy crap, that's like a lot, a lot of animation. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get these uh, cinematics started. I don't think you know anything about the lore at all, right? Just Except what I saw on the TV, on the TV show. show. Yeah, no, that is it. Well, then, I guess, yeah, see how we do this. Let it go. I see you gathered before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breasts. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our land, laid siege to every fortress from here to the blue moon. This is the beginning of the game. This is where it kind of starts. Bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Oh, so that's the birth of magic in this universe? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. We did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? What so-called witches? Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutating through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. Yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by So, war. witchers have been disliked for a long time. Disguisement for our sins. Let us not forget the terrors. Who's that? That is from beyond our world. The wild hunt. The wild hunt.
Geralt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do, do you really need to give us the full spread, bud? <laughs> That's horrifying. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Bessemir bores her to death with those etchings. It's fine. I'm gonna guess he spots some monsters. You're right there. <laughs> Just seeing a lot of things. Yeah. So, later then. Mm -hmm. See you later. style very similar in the TV show. Oh my gosh. And her eyes. And this is a look while you control care more. Yet if a manga bag. Your witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom yeah, door. So we can stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Let's be unreasonable. I missed you. A lot. And I missed you. But we have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her. Then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. We've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. It's not that great of an answer, but... <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that's all we're gonna get. Yeah. Old witch is fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Now. 
Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Next season? I don't know how far they'll go. Because I know they did a couple of time jumps in the first season. Just pimps. What do you think? <laughs> All right, take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <gasps> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety. Appendices included. Oh, oh appendices? I'd want to clean the stables. <laughs> discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Pigeon toad. Yeah, but you see, like, how he, like nimble she is on her feet. She and if you say what you say, young lady, Jessica Jones, or run for her money. I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action. I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you want to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings. Like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if. But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Hmm. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, that's the way Azula thinks. Mm. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel. Seems like I'm scared to tell her anything else. She absorbs it like a freaking sponge. Grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Yeah. Mm. Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Center to polishing all the swords at Caraboy. <laughs> Find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you.
Tamaria. Is this before or after? May 1272, so this is about after. You all right? <sighs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kem Warren. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Trace? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. <laughs> that was all a dream? We'll yep. find her. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri appeared in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. They must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. <laughs> Did you read it? It was an interesting option. Aha, uh -huh. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> Back on topic. Cousin Hook, how far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh, but it looks like it leads towards the main road. We'll be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. So you can equip two different swords, and then depending on what kind of creatures you fight, you get shot. A silver sword and a regular bronze sword? So for the monsters, the other ones for man. And then you see up there, you see a little trunk. That's a base. spell oh. that he's currently selected. Let's go before any more show. Sure. That one's a push. James. But you seem to use it against uh, all sorts of people in the show. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War's not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Eren are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders. As soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. We going? Oh my god, that's Help me! Help!
whenever you kill like enemies, like boss enemies, you can de like actually decapitate them and like take their head and attach it to your horse. And it gives you like different bonus effects. Pretty neat. I like that. Like those wings are big enough to do carry that in kind of load. Five ounce bird couldn't carry a ten ounce coconut. That's gone. Even if he gripped it by the husband. Uh, that, 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 we are not gonna go through the whole coconut thing. Hey, one second. Excuse me, wait a second. Okay. God, that was close. Okay. I was sure I'd end up like my man. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. Yeah, just kind of. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. See what I mean? Like a like small idea. side quest will yeah. just like giving you bonuses later on. And if you're nice to him, like he helps you. Sure. And use a good rye. Nice and cool. Or you can like insult him right away. You can like kill him. Like yeah. You can swing your sword right now probably and decapitate him. Um, All right, so it looks like we're going to put a pause on this one right here. So concludes episode one of watching yes. the full Witcher 3 movie. Yes, and it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time. It does look like uh, this is exactly what I wanted you to see, and all of the choices that you can make like, while you're playing the game. Just how many different avenues you there's can go a down. Lot. Yeah, like. there's a lot of them. So like, I don't know like where you can go. Like I said, it's open world, so you can go... People start the game in a different place. I started like, oh, you mean I can just wander the road and kill monsters? So let's try and do that. And then I wandered, wandered, wandered. Suddenly I was fighting like monsters 20 levels higher than me and they were killing me. Big spiders. Mm. Yeah, not my favorite. Lesson. Not my favorite, yeah. So, yeah, just a lot of fun. Interesting storyline. Lots of blood. Lots of gore. Yes, they do not shy away from that. How do you think, how to like uh, Yennefer's little intro? I love her so much. Yeah, she's a, she's a pretty beast. And yeah, I'm we excited will... to get through all this. It'll probably take us as long as it's going it, to... This is probably going to be a whole other series. It's gotta like, be. I might have to make it... It might have to be its own playlist because there's just so many that it's going to end it, up being... It might have to be, yeah. But I like it. I well, like it a good. lot. We'll just have to finish this here and uh, let us know what you guys thought about uh, Witcher 3, if there's something... Uh, yeah, for comment what you like about it. Like, if you've played this game, or if you're just like me, who prefers to watch the movie versions of a lot of video games. Yep, and uh, this has been wonderful. Thank you again. Yeah. And remember to like, subscribe, hit the comments, and uh, we will see you guys in our next video. Yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs>